Hello again. Over the years of mudlarking down on the Thames foreshore in London, I've been lucky enough to find several interesting and historical artefacts, and I wanted to share some of them with you now. The first one is this. It's a piece of Roman tile. How old do you think this tile is, Annabelle? Very old. Uh, can you be a bit more precise with the dating? Well, it dates from 70 to 120 AD. Very good, I'm impressed. Do you think that's older than Daddy? Definitely. <laughs> Thanks. Well, what makes that interesting or historic, apart from the fact that it's just Roman? Uh, well, the most interesting thing is the stamp which on it. It's been stamped with a wooden stamp. You can actually see the grain of the wood coming out in the clay. Uh, it's not complete. There's a bit missing at the beginning and at the end. But when it was complete, it would be a series of letters. P, P, R, B, R, L, O, N. Which stands for Procuratoriae Provinciae Britanniae Londini. That is, Procurator of the Province of Britain at London. So that's quite a mouthful, uh, which basically means that it's a tile from an official tile works. In the Roman period, um, the state would have owned tile works for using, making tiles and bricks for official projects and official buildings, um, presumably using slaves in the manufacture. So these tiles would have been used in the uh, public buildings of London, say bathhouses, in the Forum, the Governor's Palace, uh, certainly the Procurator's offices as well. Uh, and they were stamped with these stamps by the tile manufacturers, uh, presumably so that they couldn't be stolen and taken away in cartloads for other people's building projects and also, I guess, because totalitarian regimes have a fondness for marking things that they produce. Um, who was the procurator? Well, a procurator is a Roman official who is answerable directly to the emperor rather than to the um, governor of the province, the provincial governor. And a procurator was in charge of... Um, monetary issues, economy, raising taxes, um, and anything to do with uh, money in the province of Britain. And so he would have owned, the, well not owned, he would have run the tile works that produced uh, this tile here. As Annabel rightly says, it dates from the period of 70 to 120 AD, uh, where there was a lot of building projects going on, um, both just before and after. Boudicca's rebellion, uh, when the city of London was being beautified and laid out with all the uh, normal buildings of a Roman city. Tiles were very widely used in Roman architecture um, for holding up hypercourses in walls and also as string courses in um, stone built walls. Uh, normally they were quite large. Uh, here's an almost complete Roman tile that I found not on the Thames but in a drainage ditch in Sussex near to a Roman villa site um, and that gives you an idea of how substantial some of these Roman tiles are. Uh, this one is a Tegula Mamatai, um, so named Tegula means tile and Mamatai means mammary so that's that little projection there which keys the tile in with the mortar onto the next level. Um, other organisations stamped tile in the Roman period, uh, the most well known being the legions, the Roman army. Uh, when they set up camp and they wanted to build a new camp uh, with more permanent buildings, then they would uh, make a tile oven and produce tile and brick for that. Um, and they often stamped them as well. In Britain, about 2,000 legionary tiles, stamped tiles, have been found with about 200 different stamps. Um, here's a photo of one made by Legion 9, the Legion Hispanica.
and other organisations, as well as private manufacturers as well, did stamp tiles. Uh, another one in Britain, Roman Britain, is the Classis Britannica, that is the Roman fleet of Britain, and you can find their stamped tiles and bricks in Chichester, where they had their main base. And also in London, interestingly, which shows that they must have had a detachment of the fleet in London as well. Um, to put this tile into a context, uh, less than 1% of Roman tiles excavated uh, bear a stamp uh, in London, so it's quite rare. The last main study on these tiles was done in 1995, and up to that point about 200 tiles had been found in London uh, with a stamp like this on. There are 13 different stamps known, with slightly different variations of wording and lettering on them. Um, I guess more have been found by now since 1995, but still, um, in terms of its interest and its scarcity, one of my favourite finds. Thank you.